Need some coins to that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out mudpacks.com where you guys can open up exciting packs, win tons of mud coins, and withdraw the coins to your account. Use code Zerk for 15% off. The whole thing wobbing. So I had quite the change of plans today. Originally, this was going to be a Josh Allen, Tyree Kill, Jamar Chase, and of course, my guy Micah Parsons gameplay. And then I dropped Ken Stabler. So we're doing Ken Stabler today, but I am going to try to do another gameplay tomorrow with Josh Allen and some other Team of the Year guys. I do want to give a shout out to Clem for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subs to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Also, guys, my NBA picks for tonight are up right now over on Twitter. So if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERT to match first deposit up to $100. And follow me over on Twitter for my picks. Also, there is a March Madness special available for you guys right now. All you guys got to do, go down in the comment section, head over to the Underdog discord go to announcements fill out that google form and once you guys do that after the teams are announced for march madness you can vote on what team you want to get a booster for the entire march madness tourney as long as they continue to win you will continue to get more and more boosts so make sure to use code zerk of course to match that first deposit but let's talk about these players here we have ken stabler who has slinger three release which in my opinion is the best in the game uh, I think he's the best quarterback in the game. Now, he is left-handed. I don't like that. But aside from that, you still can't say he's not the best because 90 speed still solid, 92 excel. Of course, any boost you guys see on any of these cards from strat cards or uh, team chemistries. But you can see the throwing stats are really, really good. But the abilities, man, they're crazy. He gets Gunslinger for zero, Hiram Master for one, Set Feet Lead for one, and Fearless for one. Now, here's the thing, though. Uh, he does also get this. Now, you can equip this for one AP which is run and gun Ken Stabler. You get perfect passing while on the run. You start the game with it. So you can technically get two X factors on him. You could run that. And you could also run like Bazooka, uh, which is pretty crazy. But to be honest though, it's perfect passing while on the run. Is it worth one AP? If you want to throw it on, you can. But to be honest, I mean, unless you're going back to Madden 22 with Escape Artist and you add this on, that would be insane there where you could just, you know, throw on the run the entire time. Uh, throwing on the run with him off that left side, I don't really think I'm that interested in it, but I know a lot of people maybe will run that. I'm not. Then also he gets every single team cam as well as Legends, so I'm running Legends on him. Then we have Tyreek Hill with 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 deep route running, incredible uh, after the catch as well. In terms of abilities, I'm running Yak him up on him, and then I'm running short out elite for one AP, as well as short in elite for zero. He's actually playing in the slot. Also, I want to mention this. Any abilities that any of these Team of the Year cards have that are not zero AP, so like Playmaker for one, or on uh, here, short out, grab and go deep in, whatever, they also have those abilities in their other buckets right here. So you can see it gets like deep in right there for one AP. Uh, deep out though is going to be two AP, and then it gets short out right here for one AP as well. They get all of them in there. And then also I'm running the Team of the Year cam on these guys, Dolphins and Chiefs. So we also have Jamar Chase, 98 speed, 99 deeper out running 99 acceleration again amazing after the catch uh we are running double me on him route tech for one deep out elite for zero again you get route tech for one here so you also get it right here in the third bucket and then he gets short out deep out and mid in but we're already running deep out of route tech for a total of one ap then finally my guy micah parsons 99 finesse move 99 block shed 92 power move 96 speed 95 acceleration uh also does have 92 zone 99 hit power you guys already knew I was going to get Micah Parsons. Obviously, one of my favorite players uh, did, of course, play him last year in Madden. That's up on the channel. I used his running back card against him. That was awesome. So, Micah will forever be one of my favorite players. Edge third elite for 1 AP and then double or nothing for 0 AP. Also gets secure tackler, chip drill right there, uh, pick artist, lurker crusher as well pretty crazy stuff and does get left side linebacker and middle linebacker secondary cams let's get the gameplay if you guys are looking to get better at madden 23 and you want tips ebooks and advice from madden pros then make sure to check out hotroute.tips and use code zark for 10 percent off and get better at madden 23 today so let's get into this gameplay and see what we can do. You guys can see it looks like we're facing off against a Vikings theme team. Definitely looks like a Vikings theme team. So let's see what we can do out here. We have Chase, we have Tyreek Hill, and just in general, we have a new quarterback. So I'm just going to be trying to throw the ball pretty much as much as possible 
Tyreek, let's go. Pretty much whoever gets open is getting the ball. Whether it's Chase, Gronk, Bo, I don't really care who gets open. Whoever is open is going to get the ball, which here Chase is going to be open and breaks tackle. Second and four coming up, and I was kind of hoping we could just quick fire that out to Jamar Chase. Actually, you know what? We're going deep Carmichael. Can't come down with it. You guys can see exactly why, though. I love Slinger 3. Look how fast that releases. That was absolutely insane. Third down and four, and we've got Bo Jackson with a dot. That was an absolute dot in there to Bo Jackson. Now we're at the 44-yard line, though, and we might... Nope, we're not going to have Tyree kill. We are going to have X open. Couldn't get the ball off. My opponent is sending a little bit of pressure here. Second and 10. Let's see what we can get open on this play. We do have Carmichael once again open. Thank you. All right, so we're at the 45-yard line now. We might get Bo. Nope, we do have Tyree kill. Uh, maybe a little bit forced, but Tyreek breaking the tackle. Tyreek kill breaking that tackle there. Very, very clutch. Third down and four, and we have Tyreek Hill open once again just a super quick fire out to him taking a hit stick but didn't fumble the speed the acceleration the very quick change of direction yeah I really really do like that Tyreek Hill card but we're at the 25 now and I think we're gonna have Gronkowski open I will take that Gronk turning up the field tried a little juke there didn't juke anybody out now I think that Tyreek Hill might be tired because he's not in the game but we are down to the seven yard line might go to chase yup jamar chase with the td all right so now that we're out here on defense let's see what we can do with uh micah parsons now, i feel like it always happens to me though we're all do a gameplay with like a pass rusher or a corner or whatever and they'll do absolutely nothing so don't be surprised as never mind literally as i was gonna say that look who is in the backfield causing that pressure i'm pretty sure my opponent has john madden at left tackle and i think micah just absolutely destroyed him and was able to get pressure and cause that interception well that was pretty crazy right there great great play by micah parsons already second and five again uh, some pressure on the qb instantly there as i'm looking to go to tyreek yep we have tyreek on that slant he's so fast i literally never ever ever actually run this play aside from in game plays but it just seems to work i'm gonna run an end around right here that did not work at all all right well i tried to end around that did not work literally at all there uh but second and goal we might get jamar chase like directly across the middle of the field chase oh i think he actually might have had him it does get a little bit tough when you get down here you know to third and goal down in like the 11 yard line not a lot of room to throw but i am gonna look to go to jamar chase here and of course he got bumped he got bumped i tried to throw to chase it's not a Xerxes gameplay if I don't throw a pick. I I'm just doing what I got to do. I wanted to throw it in there, you know, to the corner. So that way I could get like a corner catch, toe tap, whatever. Just straight up did not work at all. Here's what it is. A second and five coming up here. Let's see if we can get another stop on defense. We can get an interception. Maybe make this 14 nothing head and a half. That would be beautiful as my opponent's got a lot of time in again. Didn't he throw that exact route and I picked him off last time with that exact route? Could not tell you why he thought that was a good idea, but let's try to run a screen pass. I'm going to try to run a screen out here to Jamar Chase, get the ball in his hands, and that didn't work out either. All right, so it's third and 17. It's really important here that we just don't get kicked out of field goal range. That's the number one thing. I'm going to take three. I knew it was going to be one-on-one -on -one there, and honestly, I wanted to just chuck up a jump ball to Jamar Chase. And he was able to come down with it, but we'll take our three points, go up 10-0. All right, so there's only a minute left here. You have to think my opponent's going to be trying to pass the football. I, I take it back. He immediately goes to a run. Honestly, not sure why he would try to run the ball there, but he tried it. It just did not work out as he's going to be open underneath. Jefferson, good catch. Now he's down to the 36-yard line as I'm going to look out. He's going to throw it deep. Yep, he's going to throw it deep. Actually throws it away. Second down coming up now. Let's see if he tries to take a deep shot. He definitely has to try to go deep down the field here. As I think that's exactly what he's going to try to do. And how? Literally how? I'm stride for stride with him. With Bo Jackson. With Acrobat. And I'm there and I'm pressing Y. That is insane to me. Like there is no way he should have been able to get away with that. But... All right, EA, uh, we'll, we'll let it pass, I guess. Nothing I can really do about it. Second down and two coming up, though. I don't really have a lot of time left, so we really just got to try to push this ball down the field. Luckily, though, Tyreek is able to get that catch. Tyreek Hill is definitely putting in work out here, but we've really got to get down the field once again. So I'm going to block Gronk. I might look to go to Chase. 
Chase might get open here. Maybe. Nope. Chase isn't going to be open. Look who is, though. Tyreek Hill once again open and breaking tackles and fumbling. Man, I have no luck. I really just have no luck. Well, we should have been up at least 13 to 7 there. Now, yes, I know I could have walked out of bounds, but honestly, I wanted to try to get a big play as there's Micah Parsons. Micah definitely showing up in this gameplay, and I'm glad that he is. Third and 21 coming up, though. Let's see if we can make a play on a deep ball. I know he's going to be chugging a deep. Micah once again was there. That should have been a pick. Micah Parsons really showing up here. You love to see it. I'm going to try to get the ball to Chase. I know that we've gotten the ball a decent amount to Tyreek Hill, and Jamar Chase just hasn't gotten the ball. Unfortunately, he's not going to get the ball here either, as Gronk is going to make a big-time play. Gronk is still going. Dude, this Gronk card is so good. Really, the main reason why I haven't been able to get Chase the ball a ton is because the defense my opponent is running, but Chase is fighting for every yard. First and goal, though, down at the four. Can I run it here? Is he going to blow this up if I try to run it? He might. You know what, though? We're going to give it a shot. Bo Jackson. A couple yards. All right, and now second and goal at the two-yard line. We might look to go to Chase. We might get Tyreek Hill again, to be honest. And I kind of forced it in. I'm not going to lie. Tyreek Hill, thank you for catching it. Yes, finally, we get something going my way. I was able to get the strip of my opponent after I've been spamming it on every kickoff and everything, trying to get it done. Here we have Carmichael open over the middle, and that's going to be another touchdown. All right, so now we're up 24 to 7. Let's see if we can get Micah to come out here and make another crazy, crazy play. You have to think my opponent's going to try to chuck the ball deep, and look at Micah Parsons again. He is seriously just screaming around that left edge. I told you guys this. You know, his strength and his power move might be a little bit low, but that speed and everything, he's still going to be an amazing card. We've got the ball back. He decided to punt the football. Second and 14 coming up. We're going to have Tyreek open, but I'm not able to get the ball off. Like I said, unfortunately, it's just the defense my opponent is running. Like on this play, I can tell you right now, Tyreek Hill is going to be open right off the bat. I can literally snap this, throw it, and 20 out of 20 times, it's going to be a catch. And it's just because the opponent that my defense is running here, unfortunately so, I'm just really not able to get the ball uh to jamar chase as much as i would like so unfortunate but it is what it is fourth and ten though i am gonna go for this year and i'm gonna try to get the ball to chase we're instead gonna get sacked so i'm really really trying my best but it's just the defense that he's running there's just certain plays i have that work against it and uh chase is not in that position all right so my opponent did end up scoring and now we have two and a half minutes left and yeah i'm really just trying to win this game Bo almost made a crazy play and down in 10 coming up though and once again i'm just gonna try to get the ball to chase as much as i can right now because i haven't gotten the ball a lot i would honestly love to take a deep shot right here but i don't want to do anything too crazy that can make me lose this game and you know what? We're going to do a chase coming down with the catch. Let's go. All right, it's so only a minute and a half left. Let's see if Harrison Smith blitzes, which he did not. And instead, I'm going to get that ball to Tyreek Hill. And honestly, that was pretty risky. It was honestly extremely, extremely risky right there. But let's see who's going to get open on this play, which Jamar Chase is going to get crazy separation on his man there. I haven't really given Chase a chance here to really get a jump ball. So... I guess we got to try it now and see what we can do as Chase is going to be one-on-one -on -one in the end zone and Chase coming down with the TD. I was really trying to make that like an aggressive catch situation, but uh, unfortunately, Chase is just too fast. Overall, you guys can see Ken Stabler, four touchdowns, 300 yards, one interception. Uh, receiving wise, Tyreek Hill, 11 catches, 128 yards and a touchdown. Really good. Had the fumble, but whatever fumbles are gonna happen i guess chase eight for 95 and two touchdowns well both these guys had really really good games and then micah had two tackles for loss two sacks of course it doesn't show uh pressure it doesn't say pressures right yeah i didn't think it showed pressures but he definitely had more pressures as well i uh, had the one that led to the interception by me with my user so micah showed out chase showed out tyreek ken stabler all of them absolute studs so with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like video. And of course, that sub button down below. Let me know what you guys think about these cards. See you guys next time. And if you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.